I'm Matt. In this video, we'll show you how to cite a website in a Chicago style paper, specifically using the notes and bibliography style. Let's dive in. To build a reference for a website in Chicago style, you'll need the following information. The first and last name of the author of the site. This could be one or more individuals or an organization. The title of the article or page you're citing. The title of the website. The date it was published, or if you can't find that, the date it was last modified or the date you accessed it. And finally, the URL. With all your information in hand, you'll build the reference in your bibliography this way. Start with the last name of the author, followed by a comma, then the first name, and then a period. If you couldn't find the author's name, don't worry. Just start the citation with the title of the page or article. Speaking of which, after the author, list the title of the page or article in quotation marks. Next, list the name of the website where you found the article or page. Follow that with the publication date. If you can't find this, use the date the page was modified or accessed. Preface this date with the words last modified or accessed so your reader knows what the date indicates. Finally, cap it all off with a URL. Don't forget to use a period after each piece of information. Also, like all references, make sure you give this a hanging indent. Many of the websites and web pages that you'll cite come from online blogs or news sites. References for these sources are very similar to a general website reference, but with a couple of differences. For an online news article, include the name of the newspaper and magazine in italics. Also, if the name begins with an article like the, leave it out of the reference. Blog references follow the same structure as online news articles, but with the word blog placed in parentheses after the name of the publication or blog. Building the footnote or endnote in your Chicago style paper will use the same information you used in the bibliographic reference, but it will look slightly different. First of all, like all footnotes or endnotes, you'll start with the number of the note. Next, the name of the author will be first name first, last name second, with no comma in between. Now, all those periods separating each piece of information, replace them with commas. Finally, get rid of that hanging indent, and that's it. You've got a properly formatted footnote and endnote. I hope this video was helpful, but if you're still confused, try using the citation machine tools to help build your citations and references. See you next time.